good morning everyone i am uh, pretty much coming to you from my sick bed today uh, but onwards we go and the first thing to say today is thank you uh, i have had so many supportive and um, wonderful messages uh, since since I spoke to you yesterday. Um, and thank you very much for those. Support is very important. Mm -hmm. uh, and I have, I it's incredibly busy, but I will definitely take some time uh, this afternoon to sit down and, and write back to uh, as many of these messages as I can today. And if I don't answer you today, I will tomorrow. Um, so thank you very much for your support. Second thing to mention this morning is um, a supporter contacted me uh, recently with uh, information that I've about a, a survey that I wasn't aware of and I, I did say to him that I'd mention it um, on one of these webcasts so I'll do that this morning and it is the uh, National Conversation on Immigration. This is uh, apparently it's been going on for a year uh, and it's been run and organized by a group called British Future along with a obviously totally unbiased group by the name of Hope Not Hate. So Hope Not Hate, and I have a bit of a history, um, but Hope Not Hate is running this national conversation on immigration. It says, uh, alongside, let me just get the wording, they are, we are working alongside the Home Affairs Committee feeding into their own investigation. Now, I would like to know uh, if I would like to, in fact, offer my services to the same Home Affairs Committee uh, and uh, bring to the table uh, the opinions of people who agree largely with me and with others like me. Uh, my guess is that I wouldn't be welcome to work alongside the Home Affairs Committee uh, because my opinions and the opinions of millions, millions will not be accepted, but will be dismissed as hate. Now, this obvious bias in this uh, national conversation uh, begins pretty much immediately uh, with the very introduction, the headline, which is an opportunity to heal the Brexit divides. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't think I've ever heard a Leave voter or a truly unbiased person speak about Brexit in those terms. So the very introduction is couched in, in, in anti-Brexit terms. It, uh, it's first paragraph, the inflammatory nature of the immigration debate, in quote marks, has helped to make immigration one of the most divisive issues of recent times. Now, why is, what is the inflammatory nature of the immigration debate? Why is it so inflammatory? Well, my own view is that what makes it inflammatory is that leftist activists uh, are refusing to allow anyone who is anti-mass immigration a voice. They're being excluded, intimidated, uh, shut down, uh, just simply for wanting to express a perfectly reasonable opinion. This is why the debate is so inflammatory, because large swathes of the country are being silenced. It says our Fear and Hope report has traced public attitudes since 2011, revealing a country more divided and increasingly polarised on immigration following the EU referendum. So once again, we have, the, uh, we have Brexit demonised. We need to ensure immigration can meet the needs of employers. Again, the implication is that we need immigration, employers, business and public services, but also to work for local communities, including those more sceptical about changing our about our changing population. Now, again, immediately it suggests that employers, business and public services must have immigration uh, and referring to those more sceptical about our changing population. Well, I guess they'll decide what's acceptable and what isn't uh, and how they define sceptical. But here's, uh, here's how it works. They are going to organise or have organised 60 visits to towns and cities across the UK. Now, aren't they lucky that they're able to hold public meetings across the UK? What a privilege for them. Uh, chosen to offer a mix of places with different experiences of migration, as well as political and geographic variety. They're also going to have or are having an online survey open to anybody, which so far has over 4,000 responses. Now, I would urge people to take part in this online survey. Uh, because let's, let's be clear, who is likely to attend a Hope Not Hate meeting? 
And who is likely to fill in hope not hate surveys? Is naturally enough majority going to be followers of hope not hate? So what's actually happening here is, of course, people, pro-immigration groups are going out to talk to pro-immigration people to build up pro-immigration stats and then feed this through to a pro-immigration government, all the while pretending that they are offering a voice to the voiceless. And this is, is pretty much what they're saying. They, they want to speak on behalf of people who are marginalised and excluded. I mean, this is absolutely incredible. So what I would like us to do is take part in this, take part in this national conversation. Let's bring our voice to it and not let uh, people like Hope Not Hate uh, feed their own bias and their own uh, skewed statistics through to a pro-immigration government. They're finding the information that they need or that they want, and, and let's not let them. So I would uh, have a look out to see if one of these meetings is coming to your area. I will post uh, all of the necessary information on, uh, on Twitter and Facebook as soon as I'm finished this. So get involved in this, uh, and let's go along. Uh, let's fill out the survey and see whether our opinions on this matter are actually a valid and accepted opinion, or whether, as is most likely, your opinion will be dismissed as hate by both the groups organising this conversation and, indeed, by the government that it's feeding to. Um, what time, Wheeler? Okay. Uh, okay, I think that's enough for me from this morning. I'm absolutely incredibly busy. Another thing I've got uh, going on this week is my I'm writing a new chapter for my book. Um, I have finally updated the book and, and it's gone off to the editors, but I've decided to add a new chapter. Um, so very excited about that and I'll keep you updated on that as I go along. Um, okay, so I shall see you back here then at 11 o'clock tomorrow. Take care.